Greetings, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today we're going to destroy some value with some Star Wars The Black Series archive figures with the Tusken Raider, the Imperial Hover Tank Driver, and the Shore Trooper, which uh, these are all essentially reissues. Uh, Tusken Raider, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, the Hover Tank Trooper and the Shore Trooper are reissues of like the Rogue One figures. Uh, the main reason I picked these guys up is because they show up in Mandalorian. So. <laughs> Trying to grab a little bit of everybody. I still kind of want to grab another hover tank driver. And then for you, I kind of want to try to 3D print a tray with a cup on it. <laughs> so you can hold on to it to replicate the unlucky scene. Um, but that's the reason why I got them. So we're going to rip into these guys. I guess we'll start with the Tusker Raider. Since it is the, I guess my least excited one. Again, this is kind of another one where I feel like I should grab more because you always see like a few of them whenever they're on screen so it'd be nice for like photos to actually be able to kind of replicate that but then again i don't really want to for star wars like i love star wars it's definitely something like growing up as a kid like especially when i was in high school like middle school high school i was obsessed with star wars star wars and godzilla but over time my interest in it's kind of waned a little bit not heavily, but enough to where, like, I don't feel like, like, initially it was like, if I was Star Wars, I was going to get it. Now I'm very specific on what I'd want to buy. Oh, that's cool. So he's got the cloth outer, but then I still got, like, the rubber insert here, which kind of keeps everything more or less tucked in. So what I don't want to do is pull this out. Okay, gotcha. He's got a little coat. He's got his arms. Oh, that's cool. They actually kind of detailed the inside, which is nice. I'm assuming only so far. Holy crap, that's a huge chunk of plastic there. <laughs> Imagine this being like, I wonder, so it looks like I wouldn't have to have this on. I'm assuming, but it just looks cooler. So we're going to keep it on. Uh, the head sculpt looks really good. I like that the goggles are off-center, kind of like how you see them. It's got the wrapping on the head, which looks good. It's got his little pouch. Not too shabby. Still got a little bit of posability out of them. Uh, for the accessories, it comes with a gaffy stick, and it looks like different bits for the gaffy stick, depending on what you, ooh, what you want. It's got the long rifle. Which, I usually try to pose them at least with most of the weapons, but I'm kind of sad they gave me so many options. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure what I want. Um, I guess I kind of like the, like the arrow looking bottom. So we'll go with that. So that just probably slots into here. Maybe, there we go. Hmm. We're gonna be honest, I'm not super slow on this gaffy stick. <laughs> looks, I don't know, it looks a little off to me. But, I don't know, those are all the same size and I really don't want the silver because it kind of offsets the coloring. So, I guess that's what I got to roll with. To be honest, I kind of want to have one with the gun. Maybe always the trick like when you first get these figures is trying to figure out how to get the hands and everything to work because especially like the way these rifles are designed like these guys hands are not quite right for holding this stuff so now we gotta expand the plastic out for the hand and somehow get that to move this trigger finger, there we go. We're getting there. Oh. Pew pew, mother. <laughs> I don't. Mm. Can, like I said, I wish they would kind of give you like expands to kind of work with that better. Because it'd be cool to. 
pose them correctly, but it looks like I'm not going to really be able to get there with that. So I can kind of have them down. Yes, what I'd probably do is just have them just holding on to it. Maybe just kind of have them gripping the thing. Uh, this hand, you can have his gaffy stick. Maybe this one doesn't want to hold anything either. Oh, that one really doesn't want to hold anything. Holy crap. Also, I am contorting the crap out of the stick. Yeah, there we go. Let's put the hands out of it. Yeah. Oh. All right, we got it. <laughs> we got it, boys. All right. So you can hold. We'll come back to you. All right. Ones I'm excited about. It's personally for me, I love me some stormtroopers. Uh, I guess we'll go with the hover. Get him out of his little prison. He's got a slightly bending E web blaster rifle. Uh, no holster. So he's just gonna hold on to that bad boy. Kinda bend it. And almost there we go. There we go. <laughs> Holding the rifle. I always really like the helmet on this one. I think it looks really sweet. Uh the armoring, it's not too bad either. It's got a little bit more going on with the back here. Belt looks fine. Kind of got more basic pants on with the armor pieces on the lower. Uh, the one that's kind of nice too, he's got a really nice weathering to him. So you can see a lot of like the dirt and smudges from just being excessively used, which is really nice. And then finally, we got the Shore Trooper, which looks like it's pretty much the exact same setup. Like, there's a lot of similarities between this one and the Hover Tank Trooper. Which makes sense, in a way, because, like, a lot of the troopers usually have, like, some kind of similarities, but then it veers off. Like, this one has a more open visor for the top, and then the little section here for the mouth. This one does, he's got a little frowny face. Um, and some more different stuff going on on the back here. Chest armors. Actually, I think a majority of it's pretty much the same. Belt's a little different. That's about it. <laughs> and a bit of a difference in the coloring. But again, has really nice weathering to it. His gun's actually got a little bit of color to it. Unlike the uh, hover tank trooper, it's got a little bit of silvers on it, which is nice. Also, this one's hand's kind of loose. Whew. Actually, it's super loose. I wouldn't say the worst thing ever, but definitely got some problems. Try to bend the elbow a bit. Definitely want this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look more like he's shooting. Pew pew. Yeah, I'm digging it. Uh. Again, definitely want to do the 3D printing job for this guy because I just want to kind of stand next to my Mandalorian with that, like, oh shit kind of face to him. Um, between them, uh, to be honest, like, he's probably, like, your best bang for your buck because you get, like, the cloth and options for the accessories for the Tuscan. It's just kind of, uh, I don't know. It's a lot of the issues with, like, these rifles for these Star Wars figures is they just, like, the hands aren't quite correct in order to get it to really look like he's like shooting the thing which is always kind of a little bit dis uh, disappointing because even like the Mandalorian has some problems you can kind of get it adjusting enough to get it to look right but um, I don't know it'd just be nice if they just had more proper hands or maybe like give you like the one extra hand that's just meant for this um, Gaffy Stick's sweet though 
Outside of just it doesn't look quite right from what I remember from the movies, but I like options, so options are sweet. I guess the, uh, the options are there probably mainly for just depending on the series that you're going for. Because um, the one I, like, I always remember this one, but I guess there's some pointy bit ones. And probably my favorite of the troopers. Like the shore one's cool, but the hover tanks. Um, I just like the helmet a lot better. But uh, anyways, I was to beat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like to think about the daily channel. Donate, we greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.